Hey guys, what's going on? Wanted to make uh, this video, because I think it's pretty long overdue. I know a lot of you guys have seen this in my EDC videos, and I'm sure more than a few of you have been wondering, and what the hell does he have in this thing? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you what I carry in my current day pack, which is my Maxpedition Remora. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start with the smallest pocket right here. This is where I keep my first aid kit, because it's easy to get to if I need to access it in a hurry. I don't have to fool around with two zippers or anything like that. And, um, I want to say my thing's all bunched up here. <laughs> I could honestly go on for about 10 minutes on just the contents inside this first aid kit. But, I'm not going to. I'll, uh, I'll do a separate video if you guys really want to see everything I have in my first aid kit. Um... This is just my mobile first aid kit. I have a bigger one that I keep, you know, in my room. This is just, this goes with me everywhere. Even if I'm not carrying my remora, I'll always have this with me. And, uh, you know, there's some Neosporin, some uh, rubber gloves in there. Uh, I believe they're neoprene, they're not latex. Um, gauze pads, alcohol wipes, band-aids, different sorts of uh, bandages. There's some bandage scissors, I got tweezers. Bandage tape, several different kinds of allergy medicine, pain relief medicine in there. Uh, some popsicle sticks for splints, razor blade, just a bunch of different stuff in there. But I always have that. First aid is absolutely um, a must-have. That is an essential. Um, I always have that. Also in this same little pocket, because it fits perfectly, is a single triple layer telpha pad. This is, as you see, it's just non-stick pad in layman's terms. It's made by Johnson & Johnson. Uh, it's um, just like it sounds. It is a non-stick gauze pad. And that's perfect for pretty bad wounds. And you need to cover it up because this will not adhere to a wound. It's the same stuff, basically, that is on the padding of a Band-Aid. It's a regular Band-Aid bandage. It won't adhere to bandages so that when the, the wound starts healing, you don't peel this off like you would with a normal gauze pad and, you know, rip up the coagulant and everything like that and open the wound back up. That's what I have in that pocket. Like I said, I'll go on more about my first aid kit if you guys really want me to. Just not in this video. Alright. In my second pocket, this one right here, this is where I keep... Most of my everyday items that I would use. This has just normal stuff. Let me open it up here so you guys can see. Might have a hard time seeing with the lighting. Let's get a gist of what I got going on here. First of all, I have a uh, Right in the Rain notebook sporting the Maxpedition logo. <laughs> Gotta represent. And in here, you know, I, I actually have a few things written down in here just so I won't forget. I've got P.O. Box number and different assorted phone numbers and addresses. Um, some little tissue. You never know when you might need some of that. You know, you're out and about. A uh, single lighter. Just a uh, small lighter. A small bottle of hand sanitizer. Just from Walgreens. Uh, it's very small, as you can see. That's why I carry it. Those are actually pretty hard to find in my area. A single zebra pen. Regular clicker pen. A right in the rain, not a right in the rain. Yeah, it is a right in the rain, I'm sorry. It's a right in the rain pen with a Fisher space insert. So I have waterproof pen capability. Miniature Sharpie. And one of the County Com pocket screwdrivers, which you guys have all seen. I have a review of this particular screwdriver if you guys are interested. And that's it. Nothing on my key keeper. Also down in here, a single mint. I forgot that was actually in there. <laughs> I have, um, these are the products by Dermasafe. I'm sure you guys have all seen these from County Com. Got a folding straight razor in uh, international orange. And I have a folding little saw. Now this saw is very interesting because it's a hacksaw blade. Very, very handy to have because this could actually saw through copper pipe if you're really good. Also down here in the bottom, just some random items. A P, this is a P51 can opener. This is a larger one. 
And I actually got this idea from Zinni Dude by taping up the edge there so that it doesn't stab and rip and fray the nylon fabric of this bag, even though it is fray resistant. And a button compass, which is, believe it or not, very accurate. Also, a spare rubber clicker for my stream light, which I'm getting to in a moment. And these little, uh, these little, uh, yeah, pockets right there, or straps. Um, just some hand wipes. These are alcohol hand, alcohol hand wipes. Um, this is the uh, the Kershaw Torx bit driver with three assorted bits. I believe it's a T4 and a T6 and a Phillips head. So I have that to take apart my knives. I found it works with most of my knives. And uh, last but not least in this last pocket, um, I have a few of my YouTube business cards. Um, I have given out a few of these, believe it or not, in public. So I just like to have a few on me. Have people, you know, direct them to my page if they're interested. Mostly just in Army Navy stores. And then I have a big roll of duct tape. Well, it's duct tape rolled around a business card. So, very, very good to have. I've actually used that a few times. And uh, that's what I kept in there. On the outside here, you can see I have a uh, desert tan American flag uh, morale patch, and also have a blood type patch, which that is my blood type, O positive, most common blood type in the world. Um, on the outside here, you're probably looking at that. I'll take this off actually. I have two little uh, S beaners on here, and they're Night Eyes S beaners. They're my favorite. These are Night Eyes model number one. Our model number is, yeah, model number one. This is a very small version. They have like a five pound bear, uh, load bear limit. I have two of those in case I need to attach something light to the outside of my pack. And attached to one of these is a little energizer light. I believe this thing's like 10 lumens, believe it or not. Runs off a little bitty watch batteries. This thing's like three bucks. Found it at Walmart over in the key section where they go where they grind keys, believe it or not. So I just keep that on the outside of my pack in case I need to get to something in the dark real quick. I just don't feel like opening up my bag. On the outside, I take this thing off and on sometimes. Sometimes I carry it on me. Um, other times I don't feel like it or I'm wearing a, a shirt and just don't feel like messing with this. I'm wearing a tighter shirt and I don't feel like it going over this. So... This is where I'll carry my Leatherman Wave. Never leave home without it. Alright. Before I get to the main compartment of this bag, I want to show you what I carry uh, as well on the outside. This is normally your CCW pocket. Uh, I, I cannot conceal carry for another year, legally. So, I take advantage of this pocket, and I carry a regular garbage bag. And if I am ever get, get caught in a downpour... I can put my bag, even though it is water resistant, I still don't want rain to be pouring down on it, affecting the contents inside. Yes, you can pour a cup of water over this without it seeping into the bag, but you know, if I want to protect some contents, I have a garbage bag. Also, I don't want to carry this and a rain poncho. You can't carry stuff in a rain poncho. You can carry stuff in this, you can hold water in this, other essential items. You can also make an improvised rain poncho out of this. So, has several uses. Rain Poncho has one, pretty much. I can also make a last ditch shelter out of this if I absolutely need to, or just cover myself up with it or whatever. So, and also a bandana. You've seen this in my some of my reviews as a background. Uh, this is a pretty thick bandana too, so that's why I chose it. And those are very flat, light items. They're, so they're able to slip down in there and it won't affect how this pack rides against my back. It actually fills out the contour better. Okay. Also, in this little channel, like the uh, FR1 has, I carry inside a, a plastic baggie a, an extra set of neoprene gloves. Just if I have to handle anything nasty, attend to somebody else's wounds, I got some of this. Alright, now let's get to the main pocket. Right off the bat, you're going to notice I have a map of Georgia, because that is where I live. 
<laughs> Inside the map of Georgia, I have folded up in here so I don't, you know, just doesn't fly all over the place. I have uh, one of the SE survival cards. It has some uh, air to land signals on there, or land to air signals, whatever, and uh, different measurement to metric and to meters, yards, and whatnot, different conversions. Uh, th I think that's pretty useful to have, so I have that in here. Here is a baggie with a bunch of other little baggies in it in case I need to store something away. And here is another um, pad, a little Telfa pad. So I have that map in case I ever, God forbid, get lost somewhere. It's always good to have a map of where you live. Also on this little bungee uh, strap you have here is one of County Com's SOLEDs. I chose the orange one because I can see. I can open up this pack in the dark and see this. And I have it attached to where it's facing down into my bag. So if I'm out and about and I need to get to something, guess what? I can see just fine. So that's a little suggestion. Um, on this, it's also considered a CCW pocket. I have clipped. This is my um, Streamlight C4. I will do a video on this. I've had a few people ask me what the difference was between the C4 and the uh, regular. Uh, this basically, in a nutshell, has 42 lumen output as opposed to the 24 lumen output. So double the output for the same price, same battery longevity, and same AAA battery. Same weight, too. It's all exactly the same, pretty much, just a lot brighter. So I carry that in there. I also carry this Coach, the cold pack. Uh, you squeeze it and instantly turns cold. Me being as accident prone as I am, my shoulder giving me fits. I'll, I can put that on there if my shoulder's acting up or anything's acting up uh, to help out if I'm out and about. Also, as hot as it has been lately, if I had to attend to somebody or even myself of, with overheating, possibly suffering from heat exhaustion, um, wrap that in this bandana to help somebody to cool them down. Uh, so, in the uh, winter time, I'll probably change that out for some some uh, heat pads, some little heat packs, hand warmers, basically. I've heard a lot of people call these uh, chemical sticks. I've always called them light sticks, or some people call them chem sticks. Uh, I just call them light sticks. So I have one of those miniature ones in here, very small, same size as a uh, stream light. You know, you never know when you might need one. And uh, that's it for that pocket. And uh, down in here in the, the main pocket, my, let me get my flashlight. You can see down there, I still have plenty of room. Alright, first of all, I have a Light My Fire medium fire rod. Or fire stick. Very nice to have. I've used this several times to start a fire. I'm pretty familiar with it. I'd probably prefer to have a small... I, I'm not quite sure how many feet of paracord this is, but it's a pretty good bundle. Uh, I decided to go with orange for my pack so that I could cut little pieces off in time to tree branches if I ever get lost to mark where I've been. Or, you know, just if you lose it somewhere, you could make a lanyard for one of your items with this, and you can see it. High visibility. Also down in here in the very bottom, it is a Frontier emergency water filter. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot with the little straw. Uh, this is one of the best water filters that I have seen anywhere. Uh, a lot of people like these, so I carry that just in case you need to, you know, have some water. It's always nice to have an emergency little backup system, and it weighs like an, an ounce, if that. So it's good to have, in my opinion. Down at the bottom is a um, sterile, unopened gauze uh, gauze roll. I believe it's non-stick as well. So I have that unopened. Also a full roll of the fabric gauze tape. That's good to have too. You know, you, if you're going to wrap the gauze up, you know, you need something to keep it there. So got the gauze tape. And then crammed here on the side, I have a pack of MRE peanut butter, good for protein, great emergency food if you're running low on energy or you just get really hungry. <laughs> then here's another little baggie. This has some instant coffee, 
some propel powder for the electrolytes. Um, right here is a Cliff Crunch granola bar. It has two bars in there, so you can split it with a friend, possibly. And then here is um, some Cliff Energy Blocks. These are great. They're pretty much pure sugar. They give you a nice little boost of energy. I've used them several times. They taste great, and they really do give you some energy. And in here is a packet of pepper, a packet of salt, um, a packet of sugar, and some moist towelettes. So I got some emergency back, like backup food right there in case you know, you're know you out and you're freaking starving, your blood sugar gets low. And then inside this tighter pocket, you can see that everything's pretty much neatly in there. There's an emergency maritime whistle. Got that off County Com, very loud. Uh, chapstick, it's good. It can be used also as sunscreen. Put it on the bridge of your nose, the tip of your ears. It has the SPF of like eight. So that's good. Also, if you're out in the elements, keep your lips nice and protected. <laughs> this is uh, toilet paper. This is this comes in MREs. You know, you never know, guys. <laughs> this is a very important part of my pack. This is a very important uh, first aid item. This is Quick Clot. It's sport. They make a bunch of different versions of this. Um, this is actually hospital grade. And it's basically a coagulant cloth. Uh, you put this over a very serious wound, and it's pretty much an instant blood coagulant. So it's kind of like styptic powder, but in a cloth form. So excellent to have, but very expensive. This one thing is about $10. So that's why I only have one. <laughs> but I always have that with me in here. You never know. Also, uh, also, this is in this pocket, but it fell out. It is um, four zip ties. You never know if you might have to hold something together, or maybe make some restraints. You know, you never know. It's just good little utility item to have on you, and they weigh nothing, and they don't take up any space. Here's uh, another example of something that weighs nothing but has many uses: solar blanket, also known as an emergency blanket. Put this over you if somebody's going into shock, or you're going into shock. Or just to keep warm if, God forbid, you're stranded out in the wintertime. That will keep you warm. Also down in here is a baggie of Q-tips. Um, I have a lot of Neos... I have some uh, Neosporin and alcohol wipes in my... in my uh, first aid bag. So, you know, you need to swab that onto somebody's wound or, you know, clean out your ears or whatever. A bunch of different uses for cotton... for uh, Q-tips. You can also light the cotton on fire... These are little quick tenders. These are made by SOL. And these things rock. One little spark from a fire stick, a little fire steel, and they go right up and they'll burn for about five minutes. So those are great to have as a fire starting tool. Uh, also, they weigh nothing. Here in a Ziploc baggie are four brand new AAA batteries. They're energizers. Um, that is to go in either my... Uh, Maglite, XL50, or my Streamlight, you know, some backup batteries. Here again, they weigh next to nothing, and they take up little space. So that's something good to have, some backup batteries. Um, I have a little baggie with some super glue in it. I'm probably going to take that out. I've had a bad experience with super glue busting and eating through plastic. So I'm probably not going to carry that in there much longer. That also is good for wounds. It is not toxic. To if it enters your bloodstream, it's not going to do anything. So you can't. It was actually originated for medical use. And finally, this is a little miscellaneous bag. There's a bunch of assorted items in there: rubber bands, wood screws, aluminum foil, safety pins, carpet thread. There's some needles in there. Uh, some metal wire. Just a little bag of assorted goodies that you might need for you know whatever utility uses and uh, that is it that is everything I carry with me every day in that little bag and I'm gonna pan the camera over here so you guys can get a better understanding all this stuff that was everything in that bag but anyway like I said I hope you guys enjoyed stay safe and be prepared Sherman 614 peace